Hey, good morning, happy Monday. Welcome back to Amplify in April. Come along with me. Sometimes we make the energized together. This morning we're making a little chocolate recovery. It's like, it's like my new secret weapon. I mean, that's one of the beautiful things about being human, right? Is that we can always grow and learn and evolve and get better. And once we know better, we do better. And chocolate recovery has been like in my cabinet forever and just part of, part of the arsenal of tools that I have and I just haven't been using it on the regular. Mistake, once you know better, you do better. So today we are talking about, talking about knowing better and doing better. We're talking about the debut of a new part of, of what I'm doing called It's Project Sweat or Project Sweat. So clearly you know, cause we're friends, you know about Project 100. You might be part of Project 100, I hope so. If you're not, what are you waiting on? I mean, it's, it's game changing. And over the weekend, I started thinking about my fitness classes and teaching fitness classes. And you probably already know this, but I always feel like I just want to share it again because it's, it's just a, it was such a pivotal moment for me. You know, all, more than, more than 20 years ago, I was sitting on a blue bench in the Waukesha, Wisconsin Family YMCA and the group exercise director sat down next to me and said, I've seen you in class. I think you should start teaching. I'd like you to start next month. And so I did. And that conversation, that simple, simple conversation changed the course of my life. That's really how important one conversation can be in someone's life. It's also part of what makes me so passionate about continuing to have conversations about health and fitness because my life was changed due to one conversation. Isn't that crazy? I mean, everything. I, I became a group X instructor. I found Turbo, which we're gonna talk about that in a minute. I became a master trainer. I met Shalene Johnson. I met the most influential people in my life. I became an online health and wellness coach. I started a business. I've grown a multi-million dollar business. I've met people that I never would have met all because of one conversation on a blue bench in the YMCA. And I knew nothing about teaching group fitness. I just said yes, and my life was forever changed. Isn't that amazing? Like even right now, even today, you could be hearing this and this could be the conversation that changes your life. Like that's, that's how cool and how, it's how these small little moments, these moments that seem insignificant, how they can actually affect the entire trajectory of our lives if we just say yes and dive in. So I said yes, I dove in, I kind of figured out how to teach group exercise. I knew nothing. And I went to my very first fitness conference about three months into teaching. I was teaching with um, boxing gloves and bags and you know, all the things. Went to my very first group fitness convention in Chicago. It was my first convention. It was the first day of the convention. It was the first session of the convention. And I just chose this particular session because it had kickboxing in the title. It was called Turbo Kick. And I was sitting in this conference room, large, huge conference, like ballroom. And in walked this tiny little blonde with a ponytail and the coolest workout clothes that I've ever seen in my life. She proceeded to share and teach a format called Turbo Kick. And it was in the gym because before Turbo Jam or Turbo Fire came into your home, it was Turbo Kick in the gym. I fell in love. I'm like, this is it. This is what I've been waiting for. And shortly after got certified to teach not long after that became a master trainer and turbo has been a part of my life for 20 years and then as i as i got a little older and by older i mean not just in age but like older in group exercise teaching experience of course i found other formats i mean turbo my my loves are turbo indoor cycling and strength training like those are my loves if i can teach anything and could only teach those three for the rest of my life, I would be so happy. Some form, of, some form of turbo kickboxing situation, some form of cycling situation, and some form of strength situation. Like those are my loves, and I've been passionate about them. I'm like, I like I used to ride a bike around my little teeny tiny hometown when you know forever be, back in the day when you could just go out and ride your bike, and your parents knew that you'd come home safely. I mean, I have just been doing that all my life. 
a game changer. Really helps my knee feel better too, by the way, side note. So I fell in love with turbo, started teaching turbo, and then as I got older, and by that I mean more experienced and found other formats that I love too, I also just fell in love with creating, kind of creating my own stuff as well. Yet I always came back to the umbrella name of turbo. And when the pandemic hit in 2020 and I transitioned from teaching live classes to live virtual classes from my basement, I just continued to call them turbo. Turbo Tuesday, turbo Thursday, turbo Saturday. And to me, it was a blanket umbrella type statement. And over the weekend, it's so interesting how how you do something for so long thinking everybody knows what you're talking about. I guess I feel that way about coaching sometimes. I forget, oh, not everyone knows how amazing this is and how simple it is. And I, I've been using this turbo name for so long and you forget that, oh, maybe not everyone knows what that means. And also I forget that name really doesn't belong to me. You know, when you think about it, it was the incredible Shaleen Johnson who created Turbo Kick back in the day for the gym, a gym setting, group exercise you know, situation. And then it was Shalene Johnson who brought it to the home with Turbo Jam and then elevated that with Turbo Fire. So Turbo is really you know, Shalene's name and Shalene's concept. And I've been using it, making it my own because when you teach at a group exercise studio, no matter what you wanna teach, it's got to fit into a little box. It's got to fit into a little label. Now, if you and I are anything alike, and I think we are, that's why we're here together. We don't really like fitting into labels and we don't really like fitting into boxes. And that always really bothered me that I had to come up with some generic name that was on the list that my studio said was acceptable. You know, because you couldn't just call it, well, whatever JV wants to teach. It had to come up with a name and it had to be a YMCA approved name or a lifetime approved name or whatever approved name. I'm like, why? And so as I started teaching in, in my basement, I just kind of came back to that turbo name. To me, it was an umbrella name, turbo Thursday, turbo Saturday, whatever. And I haven't taught like strict style turbo for years. Again, because I love creating my own. I love being inspired by and taking pieces from all kinds of genres. I'm bringing them into this, this one format. I just called it turbo whatever. And then I realized, wow, not everyone actually knows what that means. And if you're a brand new person, a brand new person taking my classes, a brand new person to exercise, you really have no idea. What does Turbo Saturday even mean? And I came to that observation because this weekend I'm teaching a free class to benefit where all of this started for me. And that's the Waukesha, Wisconsin Educational Foundation and the Waukesha Family YMCA. And they're putting on a fundraising effort because they give out so many thousands of dollars to the community, especially to teachers. And they asked me if I would just teach a free class. Of course, I said yes. Like. Without them, I'm not even here talking to you, right? So of course, yes. And then as we got into conversations, I realized their understanding of turbo was like what I used to teach 20 years ago, that old school strict style turbo. That's not what I teach anymore. I teach stuff where, where I just, I, I'm inspired by it and I put it together and, and it's really, it's my own format now, you know? So it started to feel like using that turbo name was inauthentic and also a little disrespectful to the name and to the creator, Shalene Johnson, who has changed my life in so many ways. That's, that's her name and it's her concept and it's her baby and what she might not be teaching or doing anything with that name anymore. It started to feel a little disrespectful and it started to feel like, you know, when I, I see other people taking my name, it's Project 100 and, and using it for their groups, and like actually like taking everything and using it as theirs, like that bothers me. It, it just bothers me. I put, I really have put so much work and I continue to put so much work into Project 100, communicating it, explaining it, enhancing it, doing all the things to make it this incredible foundation for sustainable wellness. And then for someone else to go, I'm just gonna take that name and use it. I'm like, that doesn't feel right. 
oh, that's probably what I'm doing with Turbo. Hmm. So, a name change, a rebrand, a relaunch. Project Sweat was born. That name just, it just felt right. I tossed around a few names, set them back and forth, thought about them. What, what did they imply? What did they communicate? How'd they make me feel? How might they make someone else feel? And it just came back to Project Sweat. It aligns so beautifully with Project 100. I love the word project because it implies a work in progress, something that's never finished. I love the word sweat because I deeply believe in the transformative power of fitness. I deeply believe that movement is magic. I deeply believe that we can trade sweat for competence and purpose and power and joy. And it just felt like it, it was right. Project Sweat. So from this point on, my fitness classes, anything I do virtually, live, all that kind of stuff, will be branded Project Sweat. And it will just kind of fall under the JV umbrella. So we'll have JV, we'll have Project 100, we'll have Project Sweat, and who knows what else. I've been, I've been told many times I need to write a book, so we'll see, Project Book, I don't know. We'll see what comes out of that. But I just think, you know, once you know better, you do better. And once you, once you learn more, you know better, you do better. And you really, you really understand that there's, there's always that next level. So while it was really cool to use that turbo name for a long time, it was almost a little bit of a cop out because I really wasn't diving into what I wanted to communicate and to create. So Project Sweat just feels right. I hope you'll stay tuned. I hope you'll come to class this weekend. Uh, I hope you'll, you'll follow Project Sweat on Instagram. I've got a lot of ideas, maybe doing some quick, you know, 60 minute, 60 minute, are you kidding me? 60 second, one minute, little workout ideas for you. I've got some ideas around how to, how to do modifications and to put that, them on that page. I, just, I have a lot of stuff in my head and uh, I'm really excited about it. I hope you'll be excited about it too as I continue to share. I hope you'll tap into that as a resource. I hope you'll follow Project Sweat. I hope you'll follow Project 100. I hope you'll be a part of it because without you, I'm just kind of teaching to, to an empty classroom, which I've done and I will because I love, I just, I love sharing. I love fitness. I believe so deeply in the the power of fitness to change our lives. And I believe so deeply in the potential that you and I have to level up and to become more than what we are even right now. So, and I think a workout helps us remember that because what we do in our workouts, we do in our lives. So join me for Project Sweat. Continue to join me to amplify your April. And until the next time we come together, stay strong.